So, uh, I stand on the soapbox as a mother and a scientific researcher, a medical researcher. And actually, I stand on the soapbox with a number of things. Um, so, with the annoyance that every generation, we have a generation of children who think that being geeky and nerdy is a bad thing. Ugh, drives me crazy, we have to have this discussion every time. Um, as a medical researcher, I get really annoyed that people um, have this sort of pseudoscientific nonsense that they believe uh, that is really bad for their health and their wallet. And I also stand before you as a scientist who really honestly believes that the science system is utterly broken, that we do science in secret, selectively publish things, <laughs> and we do it all with your money, and then we charge you to read it, uh, which is just horrendous. So what are the things that I want to see change, and these are what my sort of three ideas are based around. Um, web browsers that basically tell you what's bullshit and tell you that you're in an echo chamber. Like I was watching the, you know, following the dirty politics hashtag on Twitter and then was astonished when the government got re-elected. It was like, what the hell, has nobody been listening to this stuff? Um, that's really dangerous, knowing that you're only talking to yourself and your friends and you're not listening to what is happening out there. Um, I really worry about things like the algorithms that give us the information that Google thinks that we want. You know, that when you look at a YouTube video of a white supremacist, what you'll get back are more videos of, you, of white supremacists. I think this is really, really, really dangerous. This is not the kind of internet that I want. Mm -hmm. um, my second idea is about, is about science. So I really want to connect the public to the big challenges that my science is trying to address as a researcher. I want huge open science projects where everybody can see the process of science from day one. They can see the science, the, the data that we're all gathering together uh, in, in the open. They can see what we might try and hide if we were to publish it. So we can't hide it. They can see our methods. They can help us auto-correct if we're going round, down the wrong path. And that this, these kinds of projects, these big ideas, that they connect the communities, they connect schools, they connect academia, CRIs in this country, um, and industry. And then my third idea is about teaching critical thinking skills, because we kind of lack many of these. Um, so, and we need to do this from preschool, and we keep needing it to be uh, um, reinforced. Things like how to spot a logical fallacy. This will be great in terms of learning how to argue properly, how to reason, how not to just say, oh, well, you look stupid, and therefore argument over. Um, that I think we need to keep reinforcing. Understanding conscious and unconscious bias. This is amazing. I mean, I'm becoming more and more aware of my unconscious biases. They are becoming conscious biases. Understanding how we use these to make decisions. You know, understanding that jumping to conclusions is the way our brains evolved because it was really important to know whether that sort of movement in the bush was a predator or not. Now it's slipping us up and it's making us make bad decisions that are really, you know, that are disadvantaging people for no reason other than they might not look like us. Um, and then teaching people about how our brains are amazing at self-deception. Again, this is how we kind of cope with this world, how, we, how our brains are designed to lead us up the wrong path. And, and there are things that we can do to stop this. And this is kind of what the process of science is supposed to be about, you know, removing ourselves and our biases and our wants and needs from our data. And I think everybody needs to um, sort of have that. So those are my three ideas. I really hope that they would make um, a world I want to live in, um, and the world that I would want my daughter to live in and uh, I guess interact with. Thank you.